Greece's economy is dependent, heavily dependent on tourism, 20% or more mm. dependent on tourism. So opening up means letting in tourists. Mm, not, uh, not, at, not at the first stage. We are not more dependent than, say, Portugal or even to a certain extent, uh, extent Spain. We are, all southern countries are heavily dependent uh, on, uh, on tourism. Now the real question is, will we be able to have tourists come Can you? in the later parts of the summer? Only if we agree to very specific protocols. Um, what, hopefully what? at the European level. Let's assume people you know, get a test before they, uh, before they fly out, and then we carefully uh, monitor them, either an antibody test or a PCR test. Uh, and then, of course, the, the tourism experience this summer may be slightly different. Um, uh, from what, you, what you've um, uh, had in previous years with more social distancing, maybe no, you know, no, no bars may be open or no tight crowds, but you can still get a fantastic experience in Greece, provided the, the global epidemic is on a downward path. But the uh, best case scenario is Greece is, um, is, is open for business July 1st, uh, and we're working towards that. So we're preparing uh, towards, uh, uh, towards that. But of course, it involves airlines because most people fly uh, into Greece and very, you know, very, very strict, but also enforceable protocols. So can you put a figure on how big you think the economic loss might be, even I've, in percentage terms? I've resisted because uh, it's going to be very different. Uh, I don't want to give you a big range, but it's going to be much worse if we don't open up at all for the summer. You have to. Uh, um, uh, if we manage to, to get some tourists, it's going to be, uh, it, it's going to be uh, better. But, you know, all, uh, it's around 10 percent seems to be a consensus uh, amongst most uh, uh, European countries uh, uh, as what, what, what could happen, which is a massive contraction. It's going to be a very different summer, isn't it? It is going to be a very uh, a different summer, but uh, um, we... We hope that the worst is uh, uh, is behind us. And again, what I what I keep as a legacy of this of this crisis is this sense of uh, collective success. And I, I dare to use the word pride. Greeks haven't been proud in a long, long uh, time. You know, for ten years we were the punching bag of Europe. Um, Does this uh, change the situation? I think it has changed in terms of our in terms of our, in terms of our self confidence and also confidence in the state. I'm not saying confidence in the government necessarily, but people trust the state. They trust the experts. The first thing I, I, I did was to give the floor to our, um, uh, our top you know, epidemiologist. And he's doing the daily briefings. It's not me. This seems to be, dare I say, a very strong message for the United States and the United Kingdom, whose track records at the moment on this pandemic uh, are, are probably some of the worst in terms of death and infection rates. Well, everyone is doing it their own way. Uh, this is the way. I know, but is there a right way? And, and does Greece have the right way? Well, I think there is. I don't think there is a single right way, but I think we clearly did it, at least in terms of the first phase. Uh, and until now, I think we've done it the right way.